Well, thank you so much, Greg. I have to say, I could not be happier than to be here with you, all of you today. Vaughn is such a strong, growing, vibrant, wonderful community, and it is just very heartening for me to be here with all of you to see a dream realized. I want to say uh, thank you to every single one of you. You are all here because you care passionately about your community. You care about the future of this community, about the people in this community. Thank you so much for all you have done. And thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg, for all you have done to get us here today. And now I discover it's not you at all, it's Lorenzo. So thank you, Lorenzo, <laughs> for all you have done. I can tell you, I know how important this today's announcement, and I have a feeling I've been scooped. I have a feeling you know what announcement it is I'm going to make. Um, I know how important this is to, uh, to you and to your community. I have heard uh, from, from many of you how important it is that this community get what it needs. I want to say thank you to my colleague Reza Moradi. He too has been a huge champion of, uh, of today's announcement. So together with, uh, with Reza, with Greg, I am absolutely thrilled to announce that uh, the McGuinty government has approved the, uh, the construction. We will build a new public hospital in Vermont. obvious that the community is behind this project. Uh, this will be a, uh, a state-of-the-art health care um, facility. It will bring services to, uh, to the people of this community, services that are desperately needed. I do want to take a moment, and Greg has already done this, but I want to do this too. I want to acknowledge that it takes a lot of people to get to today's announcement. Greg, starting with you, your tireless advocacy for this project. I don't think I was health minister five minutes before Greg was talking to me about the need for this project, and <laughs> it wasn't the only conversation that we have had about this. Uh, we have obviously had many, many uh, conversations as Greg pushes me, and you know, Greg, you know it is impossible to say no to this man. Um, and, and Greg, thank you so much for all you have done and today, thank you for getting us here today. Um, and I, too, want to say thank you to York Central Hospital. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your commitment. Altov, Dina, what wonderful leaders you are in this community. This is a wonderful testament to, uh, uh, to the, our confidence in you to take this uh, extraordinarily important project to the next step. So thank you so much. <laughs> to the mayor, to the mayor, what an extraordinary co um, uh, commitment you have made. Uh, you know, in our, our line of work, dollars speak louder than words. In this case, both dollars and words have come from you, to you, to your council. Uh, thank you for your extraordinary generosity and commitment to this project. As, uh, as has been said, so many people have been, uh, have been uh, part of the journey to get to, to today. So many people have donated their time, their money to, to, to get us to this moment. There are too many to name, but I do want to name a couple of people who have really demonstrated extraordinary leadership. 
uh, Michael de Gasparis. I haven't seen Michael this morning. He's, where is he? There you are. And to, uh, and to Sa Sam Ciccolini, not here, not here. He gets a big round of applause even though he can't be here. Um, I do also want to acknowledge the, uh, the stewardship and the leadership of the Lynn. John Langs is here, Kim Morrison is here, Kim Baker rather, from the, uh, from the Lynn. This kind of project simply cannot happen without understanding the context of the region. Hospitals are not standalone buildings anymore. They are part of a community, part of a much larger network of health care. And it is the Lynn, through the work of the Lynn, that this hospital will be an integral part of health care in this community. Thank you so much. So, so what does this mean? What does it mean for the people of this community? It means state-of-the-art emergency services. It means new surgical services. It means new operating rooms. It means advanced diagnostic imaging services, modern facilities, up to the, up to the minute uh, facilities, with a big, big emphasis on the safety and on the comfort of the patients. This is, will be providing patient-centered care and it will also acknowledge the work that happens in a hospital, the people in the walls of the hospital that are my heroes, the people who come to work every day with one goal, and that is to care for people who are ill. The, uh, the doctors, the nurses, the cleaning staff, the dietary services, the bookkeepers, everyone who come to work every day with one goal in mind, and that is for the for the health of the people in their community. We will create a building where people will want to come to work. It means that people will not have to travel for the care they need. That's peace of mind. We all hope we don't need the services of the hospital. But when we do, it is so important to know it is close. It is close, and, uh, and it is there for us when we need it. So today is a celebration of a very major milestone for the city of Vaughan. Some people tell me this is the biggest infrastructure project the city has ever seen. Uh, it is a major milestone. So today we are celebrating the green light. We are celebrating the approval of this wonderful project. But I'm going to be honest with you. This is just the beginning of a whole lot of work that's got to have happen to make this vision a reality. There is still way more planning to do. There is money to raise. There is a tremendous amount of work to do. I can tell you I have every confidence that this community will rise to the challenge. You will be there for your grandmother, for your child, for the people you love who need the care that will be provided in this hospital. I want to say thank you so much for what you have done, for what you are about to do. It is a wonderful, wonderful news for this community, and it's wonderful news for this province, because the province, we all believe that everyone in this province should have access to the highest quality care as close to home as possible, no matter where you live. Hospitals, I have learned, I kind of knew before, but as health minister, I know this for sure. Hospitals are far more than just another government service. Hospitals are the heart and soul of a community. It's where important and pivotal moments happen in our life. It's where our babies are born. It's where we get tragic news. It is a highly emotional place. It is where we celebrate life and where we mourn death and everything in between. Hospitals are so much more than just a new building. I want to say congratulations to all of you, all of you in the community coming together with one goal in mind. It is a very, very worthy goal, and I am so delighted to be here today to celebrate this with you. Thank you. Thank you.